Hello YouTube, I am back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to do this topography plan in SketchUp. It is very easy and very quick so let's get started. The first thing that you need is SketchUp Pro unfortunately, uh, but you can always download free trials, at least that's what I did. Uh, and then you have to enable the location tool from the tools menu. So if you right click on the tools bar and then just enable it from there. And from there you can just pick your location. I'm going to choose France because I really wish I was there right now. So I'm just going to zoom in to a mountainous area by the beach. and then you can select your region. You can't make this any bigger, but you can make it smaller to the area that you want. So I'm just gonna select the region, wait for it to load, and then from there, you can toggle the 3D view to see the mountain. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle over it, and then use the multiply function. So you're just gonna space the rectangle to the height that you want your topography or contours to be. So in this case, I'm gonna choose a three meter. You select the rectangle, press the move tool while pressing on the control button, slide it down and press three on your keyboard. Leave the rectangle selected. Press the X button on the keyboard. So X and then how many times you want to multiply it with. So 30. And as you can see, it did not just fill all of the spaces. Press again, X, 50. And now I got all of the model filled up. I just need the top one. So I'm just gonna copy these, control button, move tool, and just copy everything. And as you can see right now, all the model is covered. So I'm gonna select everything and then intersect it with a model. Give it a few seconds, few minutes, few hours if you have a slow computer. And then from there, you can just delete all of these faces. And again, select all of them and just press the delete button on your keyboard. And if you want to delete the background as well, you'll, you'll have to unlock it first. You can then export your image to an AutoCAD, um, just a regular 2D image or even a 3D model if you like to scale. And that is pretty much it. I've seen and tried so many other ways to get this map but they are so complicated and you need to download so many programs and it's not something that I would honestly remember in a few years. So this method is pretty easy and I hope you found it helpful. I am Rasha Shururu and I will see you next time.